I didn't realize the actual meaning behind Nanao saying hey and crying during the battle with Oliver. And you guys kind of explained it. Not sure if it's spoilers, but pretty much she wants to die. She's trying to find someone worthy enough to die. Oliver's the perfect one. Hey, kill me, Oliver. I need to die. There seems to be some really deep sadness behind this aloof, innocent, naive kind of girl. But okay, at the end of the episode, though, what the fuck is what? What is up with these students? I, we're, we're stuck in a labyrinth. Okay, oh, that's an interesting mechanic of the show. There's older students that's on patrol. Patrol implying I thought they're going to help us out in case we get stuck. But no, they're fucking attacking us. And then I remembered the show was all about people losing themselves to magic, right? They get crazy and the magic overpowers them and then they go crazy, I guess. So this is an in instance of that. I don't know. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Bro, this guy is not. <laughs> okay, she's great. But that other dude is not a fucking student, dude. I deed him. He looks like he has three kids. Orbs. Ugh. No, 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 the carnal urge is something I'm very down with, but this guy, she's a succubus. You know when girls smile twist like that in anime? Oh, well, they get fucking crazy. Huh? What kind of history do they have? Maybe they're going to fight amongst themselves and we can just get out. Is he some kind of like necromancer? Kind of? Her belly! Oh! Her belly button! <laughs> Open some kind of portal to. Oh. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> the way she was moving! <laughs> Her eyes! That's better animation than most hentai, man. But okay, they're just fighting the nonsense. Never mind. What do you want, dude? Can't we just leave? What do you want, dude? No, no. No, no, it's chasing death, right? She gave birth to this thing. What kind of magic is this shit, dude? I think she really enjoyed the birth, though. Oh. Wait, she's just... Going in. Are you sure you're trying to live though? And you know Oliver is hiding something. He's definitely stronger than most. I bet it could fight back. <laughs> so she puts seeds into her womb and then she gives birth to these creatures. <laughs> Look, I, I still think defiling corpse is still more vulgar. I'm still with the succubus aside. Definitely not for degenerate personal reasons. He's going in to help her, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, because that's fire attack. Doesn't the brother have fire attacks? Is it him? Oh. Finally, a sensible senpai willing to help out the new students. Maybe it's not the brother. Oliver is not showing any kind of reaction. Never mind, yeah. Why did I think that the brother uses fire attack? Another, Another student council? Yeah? Cool headed. Okay. For her little kitties? <laughs> so are they the ones, you know, capturing the students? It's the students not getting lost. It's them fucking taking the students? Yes. Absolutely. She's trying to die a samurai's noble death on the battlefield? I don't know. Who was supposed to die has... Mm, herself. She probably thinks that she needs to die because she's killed so much in the battlefield. She can't wash away these bloodstains. She tries to purify herself in the public fountain. But I guess this is a, a level of guilt that she has for killing so many people. Therefore, she needs to have kind of punishment. Is that the idea? Hey, it's our public fountain bath. Back during the war day. 200 versus 50,000, then you won? 
damn. 50,000 hard trained men, strong muscular men, veteran samurai versus one fucking 14 year old girl. <laughs> It's anime. It's anime. But it's just funny if you kind of like take a step back and think about what's going on. Ay <laughs> ay. One on one duel. Mm. I personally wouldn't. I'd be like, oh, that was the. <laughs> I'm surprised the dad's not that angry. Yo, I'd be, I'd be upset. I'd be like down on my knees crying. What the fuck? Okay, he is crying. Okay, okay. Yo, no, no, that's fucked up. What did you do? Nana, I feel like she's the bad one. No, it's war. There is no good or bad. Everyone is equally bad. It's just damn. You killed his son without even knowing that was the son. What? Some kind of magic barrier? Unconscious magic, or the uh, McFarlane that uh, recruited her, right? The dad, right? Uh. Imagine you're just a samurai and you see this dude pop out of nowhere. Fucking okay, they know about like magicians and stuff, but look at this the dude's fucking upside down <laughs> on a broom. Look, even he has the curls, not to the same extent as the girls, but he still has them. You know what's gonna make her believe in life again and realize that this is all real? Some love. She needs to fall in love with Oliver, and then she'll have something to protect and cling on to, and she won't be like, I wanna die. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, that's happiness to you? Very twisted. Let's leave that culture behind now. <laughs> She's gaslighting us! What the fuck? I, you're not gonna make us feel guilty about trying to fucking make you alive. You understand, Katie? Yep, exactly. She got it immediately. Oh, she's kind of rude. In love. Hey, 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 maybe there's something for you to live for after all. Hey, that's not the only sword he's packing. You don't know? You don't know what's down there? That's right, no, no. You have so many reasons to live now. Is does this mean that her character development, in terms of her like obsession with death, is gonna be just done this quick? I don't mind. It's just I thought it they would take a. Yeah, of course you don't, Pete. You don't fucking try to make friends. All you do is act all tsundere and shit. Anyways, I shouldn't hate on Pete so much, but I. His pr his attitude fucking pisses me off. But I'm surprised that Nana was uh. Her problem is getting solved this quick. I thought it would last throughout a couple episodes. And she denies it right here. Ha! Okay. <laughs> I was like, I thought she was going to start attacking Oliver. <laughs> okay, first of all, no more taking bath in the public fountain. Of course you weren't. Who the fuck do you care about, dude? <laughs> it's so sad today. Are we holding hands? We we holding hands? Are we a couple officially? No, oh, she is so upfront, man. I, not literally. That was a metaphor. What do you? I think it's adorable though. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Hey. Hey. Mm. Don't tell me you got feelings for Oliver. What? What do you care? What do you care? <laughs> it does bother. Maybe there's a love triangle? I don't know. Oliver did save Katie in the first episode, but doesn't really mean that she'd fall for him. Maybe she did. Oh, yes. Back to sword class. Yes. More duels, please. Come on. More duels. Come on. Can he use a spell blade? Spell blade? Spell blade is different from their just physical weapons right now. 
Oh, okay, here we go. Because isn't this anime literally called Reign of the Seven Spell Blades? Six Spell Blades. But there are seven Spell Blades in the anime title. Maybe that's something special for all of you. <laughs> Until now. I wonder if he can. <laughs> Maybe he's embarrassed to tell the kids that he can't use it. Come on, I want to see a spell blade. True, who, who kills first? Who is this? This guy again. Bro, how are you going to talk shit after last episode? Or you fucking admitted yourself. You couldn't even do a Nano after Nano and Oliver's fight. He was like, oh shit. McFarlane said, hey, you think you can fight them? And he was like, oh my god. <laughs> Here she comes and clapped him up. Hey! I, I love how it's so, so professional. It's like, shut up, Miss McFarlane. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Please. Embarrass this. Oh, my God. I can't wait. Oh, it's gonna be good. What? Oh, bro, don't do that shit. Come on, do it for Nana. Beat that motherfucker. Yes. Oh, give it your all. We know he's hiding some strength, right? Oh, this is an extra BM to him. Exactly. Dual time, come on! One on one! Fight! Oh, what the f <laughs> So, he was always so insecure because of Chell. <laughs> I mean, that's on him, isn't it? That's his own insecurity from his own incompetence, from being compared and not coming out on top. What, what, what? Is that our fault? <laughs> You know the family name? Oh, Jesus, man. Je oh, my God. Yo, this teacher's out of pocket. So mature, though. You're not gonna fight. Yo! What did you do? Dude, it looks like that's kind of taser magic. Yo, you call yourself a fucking teacher? Who is he, though? I don't know. Some kind of shitty teacher. Seems like they know him. And he knows Katie's parents. <laughs> I love how Nanao's got the fucking blade ready. Who is this? Another teacher? Oh. Students. Look at the troll, man. He looks so apologetic. It's not his fault. Vera. There's just so many new characters I gotta remember the names for. I've already, I'm gonna forget them all. Message? Why? A love letter? No, it's not. But what? <laughs> and Nanao. Yo, he's gonna embarrass himself, but I'm ready for it. I feel like I'm gonna feel sorry for him, though. Oh, this is gonna be good. So many new characters just popping in and out. So many different fourth year, fifth year, but this is cool. You know, the world building is slowly getting set in place. The most interesting thing so far is Spellblade. That's what this anime is called, you know, the reign of the seven Spellblades. Yet there is only six Spellblades yet known to, you know, people here. So I guess Oliver or someone here, Nana, I don't know, will discover the seven spell blade and use it. I wonder if the teacher could use it though, because he was like, ha ha ha, you know, it's a secret, guys. I can't tell anybody, but see, and deep inside, he's like, shit, these kids are going to fucking roast me if I said I can't use a spell blade. Can't wait to know more about it. At the end there, Mr. Andrews, this guy, this fucking guy, he looks like a stereotypical douchebag, but there's maybe there's more to it than that, right? Like he's going to get absolutely trounced by Nana and, and Oliver. Like there's no way he can compete. But I feel like even though I'm shitting on him right now, I feel like I'll, I'll feel bad for him because he has like a sad backstory and oh god. I, anyways, we'll first humiliate him, then we'll see his fucking past and I'll feel bad about it. it it'll, it'll happen when it happens. Anyways, if you're here, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.